G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thank you so much for being here today. I am going to do another cross between my fantasy flower and a fairy flower. So hope, I'm hoping to get something like this, like I did last time. But um, I really want purple in the centre this time. <laughs> um, got a little bit of aqua on the outside. Oh, dogs, excuse me, I'm talking. Got a little bit of aqua on the outside, but I really wanted the purple on the inside. I only got a tiny bit of it there. Just shut the door. Okay, so um, this time I'm doing the Holbein acrylic inks, and I want a teal around the outside, so I'm using Thalo turquoise and Thalo green, so equal parts. And it is in here. It looks really dark in there, but you can see it's still transparent. And then this one... My metallic, I've mixed up a little bit of the antique copper and the super bronze because this was the super bronze and it's quite goldy looking. So I want it more of a copper looking. So I've mixed some up in here and it's got a tiny little bit of resin in there and that's all I'm going to use. A little, little tinsy wincy little bit like that in there. I'll keep this. So that's, that's going to be my metallic for the edge. It is Perlex. Um, I like the Pearl X by Jacquard because it it just it just looks nice. I have got a couple of other metallics, but I think they're more um, the metal powders, and they tend to drop, so or float. I don't, I don't know that they work as well. And then this one's the mauve. Okay, still looks very dark in there, but it's um, still quite transparent. And my white is my bloom. I've got. A little bit of bloom in there. It looks opaque, but when you tilt the stick right over, you can see the stick through the white, just a little bit. So we'll pour that in there. I've got a tiny, just a little few drops of resin in that top cup there above me, and that's going to be for my glittery center. I don't usually like glitter centers or you know blobs of any kind in the center but because I'm going with um, like a metallic edge um, I do want to have some metallic in the center so I'm using this one here PDB Creative Studio. This is Jupiter and I'll just pour a little bit in there Make a paste. And another stick. Make a little paste like that. Nice and thick. That way it won't spread too much with any luck. Just give it another little drizzle. And then in my push, I'm just going to add one drop of the black acrylic ink. Like so. And hopefully that will just help with those dark kind of veinings between the petals. It's getting warm already, quite warm, so I better get a better get a wriggle on, as they say. Hey, let's just do this. Let's do this. I've got everything ready. Now, I don't want quite so much of the metallic around the edge this time. Um, I want to try and just get the tips, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. Start with that, and a little bit, a little bit. I'm kind of trying to put it just in there, but look, it's gonna. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. It's gonna. It's gonna flow over. But I want to get in those. But I've only got a tiny little bit of resin in here, so hopefully, hopefully just enough to put in these. I know I'm being a bit pedantic, but I only want the tips to be metallic, you know? So, we'll see. It's going to spread. Oops. I'm sure it'll spread. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. It's scraping it all out. It's scraping it all out. I didn't make up a lot, you know, on purpose, <laughs> so that I could just do the tips. I'm going to do that. 
So I want these tips to be metallic. Don't know that the resin will stay up there. It'll probably just kind of flow back down again, but this is how I'm wanting it to look. So we'll see. It, it may stay a bit up there. I don't know. All right, so now I'm going to put in my... I'm going to put my purple in the middle. Now, last time I did... I think I did a... I poured the teal in the middle. And then I did a purple puddle on top of the teal and my purple puddle just got lost so I'm doing it differently this time. I'm going to put my teal around the outside. I have no idea if that's going to work or whether it's just going to move all my metallic that I've just lovingly placed. Maybe. But I don't know. Look. I, I did it the other way last time, so do it differently this way, this time, and, and just see what happens, hey? See what happens. Okay, give that a bit of a torch. I can see that my metallic has still stayed there, so yay! That's good. That can sit there for a minute. Now, piping. Um, so the fairy flower, if you don't know the fairy flower, it's done with dots. And then my fantasy flower that I've been doing has been with spirals. I'll try and remember to link one or I'll link the previous one for you. Um, so yeah, we'll just see. Now I'm going to do dots. See where the gold is or the metallic there? I'm going to do the dots. Oops, they're a bit big. <laughs> I'm going to do the dots around the metallic there rather than all the way around the outside have no idea if it makes any difference at all, but this is what I'm going to do. Feel free to fast forward. I'm just going to do these dots in here. I'd like relatively big petals, nice big fluffy petals. I am using the Platinum Super Clear Resin. Um, I mixed it up for four minutes and then let it sit for... 15 minutes. I then decanted it into my little cups, mixed in the colours and started the video. So that's what I did. Because I wanted it to thicken a little bit and you've probably heard me say it before, if your resin's too thin your white will just fall through and go splat on the bottom as it does when you're doing a 3D bloom. If you've been three, doing 3D blooms, you'll know what I'm talking about. So that's all we're going to do for now. So I'm just going to leave my white there. I'm going to do my little push, find the middle, dump that in, and give it a quick torch. Be careful when you're torching that you don't burn your mould. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to I'm going to go around the outside. Let me just look at my notes from yesterday. Now I can't open my phone over here. Just open my my notes from yesterday. Yep, around the outside. Yep, that's what I remember doing. I'm going around the outside and hopefully this is going to push all those dots into the center. I think I did about that many and then I did some more dots. And um, yep, hopefully this, hopefully it'll close. <laughs> I don't know. So I'll give it some time and um, I usually wait about another 20 minutes or so to see if it's going to all close up um, and then I tend to just get my syringe and, and suck some out because in my experience it hasn't, hasn't closed. I'm going to use all of this. Go around 
again. You can see the edges there, they're starting to bloom. <laughs> Lovely when it does that, isn't it? All right, I'm just going to look at my photo again. Yeah, I think, yeah. Do another little row and then that'll be enough because I'll have run out by then. Took a photo of everything I did. I also keep notes, but I took a photo of what I did. Oops, hope I'm not making these drops too big now. And I've got a little bit left, so I'm just going to go through and add a couple more drops where I can see a little gap. And just use all of this white up. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. So we're just going to wait and, uh, and see what happens. I hope it works. Just because I did it yesterday and it worked. Doesn't mean it's going to work this time. Oh, gosh. All right, so quick little torch. Don't over torch because you'll make your resin all thin again. I've just waited 25 minutes to get it thick so my white stayed suspended. So don't torch too much, otherwise your white's all going to sink. All right, um, so now what I'll do is I'm going to wait another 5, 10, 15, 15 minutes or so. I'll come back. Um, I'll use my little torch, shine it in the middle, see how much I need to suck out. Do that and then add the glitter, all right? Cross your fingers for me. <laughs> Hope it works. See you soon. Right, oh, so it has been 45 minutes since I stopped stirring. Now I'm going to shine my flashlight torch into the center. Look away if you don't like flashing lights. And look. Look what's happened. I think this is the same thing that happened last time. The white has just kind of dropped down. Don't know why. I guess because I went back and I put the dots in the middle um, and they haven't really moved. Now when you put your dots around the outside, the resin moves and pushes them to the inside. But if you do your dots in the middle, they're already in the middle, so they don't have anywhere to go. So this is where I'm going to get my little syringe. I'll pop you back up there and get my little syringe and suck the middle out. And hopefully, oh, my syringe is, my little syringe is stuck. Oh gosh, I might have to get another syringe. It gets little bits of there's little bits of resin in there, dried resin. I do soak it in um, isopropyl alcohol, but it still gets little bits. I can only use it probably maybe four times at the most, and then I have to get a new one. So hopefully it'll still it'll still work. Some little crusty bits around the outside there. It's gonna Swirl it in some alcohol and see if that'll help. Yeah, it kind of. <laughs> All right. All righty. Now, that's my little cup from earlier with all my rubbish in it. Okay. So, um, sorry if you can't see, but I need to go straight down into the center. So what I do is I put the nozzle down, touch the bottom, so I know I'm right at the bottom, and then pull back. I think I'm going to have to go and get another syringe. Just, just not working all that well and I'm worried that I'm going to make a mess. Okay, so we'll have a look into it. It's mainly clear. It's got a tiny bit of white in it, but it's mainly that clear black push that I added. Squeeze that in there. See if I can use it one more time and then I'll throw it out. I don't like to waste things. All right, so you can see the, the top has closed over, but we need the bottom to close over as well. So I'm going to go in, touch the bottom, lift it up just a millimetre or so until I get the suction. Because obviously if you're touching the bottom, you're not going to get any resin coming out. All right, that's pulling up a lot of purple now with a bit of white in it. You need it to have white in it. If it's just pulling out a colour, it's quite hot. If it's just pulling out um, your centre colour, 
with no white in it, then you know that your white hasn't come to the middle. So you need to cut, keep sucking it out until you're getting some white. So I know that the white is now in the middle and I'm just going to throw that. So that was two syringes, um, 30 mils, one ounce. And that's all I'm going to do. Shall we, shall we go down again and have a look? I don't know if we'll be able to see now because the white has closed over the top. Um, I will show you a little trick. I'm just going to pop my finger into my isopropyl alcohol, put a drop on the middle there. Don't know if it'll do it because the resin's so thick already. It kind of clears it, but no, it's, I don't think it's going to do it. If your resin's still quite thin, you can put a little drop of isopropyl alcohol on the surface. Um, and it'll push everything away and then you can see down into there but it's pretty thick so I um, don't think we're going to be able to see what's going on. I just want to be extra careful and just do another half. Resin's getting really thick now. All right, that'll do me. That'll do me. Okay, now the glitter has, it's, it's really thick, which is great because it's not going to all fly away. But we do need to make sure that it's going to go in the middle. So I'm just going to kind of drop it into the center there. Haven't got much work time left on this resin. It's coming up to an hour now since I stopped stirring. I have got it sitting on my little trivet. See there, I can get my hand underneath. I did set my timer, but I guess it's a bit warmer in the studio today. So the resin has gone off a little bit quicker. I'm about five minutes out, I'd say. Could have come back five minutes earlier. But anyway, it is what it is. Now I'll just push that in. Hopefully we've got glitter on the bottom there. Try and do it neatly and gently <laughs> so that you're not making too much of a mess. But yeah, it's um, really quite thick now. So it's not going to do much at all. I'll just poke it in with the toothpick. Um, and hope for the best. So that's, that's all. That's, that's it. There isn't any more. Give it a quick torch and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, now get these gloves off. So that's that one. This is the back of the last one. Looks pretty similar, very similar. I did my dots, I did my rings, went back and did some dots. I will link this one up at the end of this video so that you can see. Um, but yeah, I, I poured this one differently. This one I poured. Um, the green, I did the gold metallic on the edge, then I poured a puddle of the teal and then I poured a puddle of the purple. But um, yeah, purple all got lost. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe it's no better. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'll see you guys all a bit later for the unmolding. Wish me luck. Righto, I have had this in my curing machine for a couple of hours and uh, it's set. It's still a bit warm, probably still a little bit bendy, but it is cured. So remember this is what we're trying to achieve. I am kind of worried that this was a one-off fluke because it took me three times just to get this one. Um, just testing different ways of doing it which I didn't put the videos up because they were a flop. Um, but um, I'm hoping that this one will be like this but blue on the outside or teal on the outside I should say and purple in the middle. Okay that's what we're going for. Oh, so wish me luck. Let's see if it works. So it's not quite full to the top because I did suck some out. I'll pop that there. And uh, as usual, I will link uh, resincourses.com course down below because totally inspired by those, uh, by them, by the lovely Micah. Now I have noticed when I put my 
pieces in the curing machine I do get these tiny little bubbles around the edges I guess it gets hot <laughs> it does get hot and we get these tiny little bubbles coming up on the edges which is really weird but never mind all right just make sure you have it on low if yours has got a temperature adjustment okay without further ado I'm putting it off I'm putting it off I don't want to see I do but I don't come on you know the feeling you know you do all right here we go <gasps> big breath <gasps> oh shut the front door shut the back door shut all the doors oh my god <gasps> oh. oh my gosh what else can I say <laughs> okay enough of it enough of the oh my goshes <gasps> look at it you guys <gasps> it's it's beautiful it's stunning it's just what I wanted it's better than what I wanted I had no idea that that it could look like that oh wow Look, now look, oh my gosh, oh, I'm actually, sh I'm trembling, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. And you guys know the feeling, you do, I'm sure you do, if something's worked out. Okay, now you know how I said I wanted the teal on the edges, but I only wanted the metallic in the tips. I've got the metallic in the tips. Now you can see, you're probably going, I don't know what Julie is talking about. How can you just have metallic tips? Okay, see, metallic tips. There they are, there they are. <gasps> oh. And then we've got the teal around the edge. Still a bit transparent. I can see it's still transparent. That's fine. My glitter is in the middle. Yay! Not a lot of it made it to the bottom. I can see a lot of it still kind of floated. Um, if that bothers you, you could just... You, you've seen me do it before, like add a few little spots with a, with a marker. Um, I, this one I wouldn't, I wouldn't do a top coat, only because it doesn't have like a... And a flat area where you can top coat um, you'd have to do the whole thing like down the sides and everything and I just don't think it's worth it oh my gosh so we've got that gorgeous pink in the middle the pale pink and then around the outside we've got that darker pink which is going into into a purple oh I just love it I love it I love it now I'm gonna have to go through and just sand all these little edges off I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is this is like the best thing I've ever made. Kick my stool out of the way. Oh, now which is going to be the top? I think that's probably going to be the top that way. Let me just um, try and get my camera so that... Oh, no, I've got to fix up my camera. There we go. Hold it that way. Oh, who loves purple and teal together, hey? Purple, pink and teal. <gasps> just divine just divine now it always looks a little bit more blue through the screen the edges it's it's not it is it is more of a teal and I don't know why it does look blue but it just looks blue through through the screen it's just how it is I don't know why look at that metallic shimmer oh it's like a what do they call those flowers it's it's the petals are exactly like those flowers what are they called oh, I can't think now you guys will know those middle pow powers the middle petals petals and flowers powers <laughs> yeah I can't think what they look like at the moment oh my gosh you guys I'm so excited I'm so excited Right, I'm going to come around here because I want to have a look at it in, I'll come around here and have a look at it in a different light. Mm. Can we see, just picking up different, different light if we can. It's a bit tricky to see because of all the ring lights. Try and take a nice photo for you. I'll try. I'll try. Here we go. It's just this is just the opposite side of my bench. 
How's that? Can we see nicely there? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Oh, I just love it. Look at the shimmer, the shimmer of that metallic. Oh, it just does my head in. Uh, it's, I have no words. I have no words. Look at that. All right. I'm going to go. I'm never going to be able to make anything as beautiful as, as, as this again. I might as well just give up right now. I'm done. Stick a fork in me. <laughs> I am done. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you so much for watching. It's lovely to have you all supporting me in my quest for the perfect fairy flower. Well, this is kind of half a fairy flower and half a fantasy flower, so I'm I don't know what you'd call it. It's just a flower. I don't think it needs a name. If you want to know how to do it, check out resincourses.com. They will give you their recipe and all their amounts. And then you can just play with that recipe, as I have done, and create all kinds of things. And they are gorgeous things. <laughs> all right. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you all again real soon for the next one. Take care, guys. Bye for now. So excited.